Aransas, Texas is affectionately referred to as Port A. It's located across the bay from Corpus Christi at the northern tip of Mustang Island. Port A has been called the fishing capital of Texas. Everywhere you go, you will see people fishing. They're along the shores, along Roberts Point Park in the harbor, climbing out onto the historical Aransas South Jetty and heading out on chartered fishing boats. Since we don't fish, we purchase locally caught fresh fish several times during our stay. The best came from Paul's Seafood Market, which was just a short bike ride away. We cooked it ourselves and enjoyed our dinners while literally watching the ships go by from our campsite in I.B. McGee Beach Park. This campground is a spacious beachside park with full hookups. Sadly, the office and store, viewing decks, and bathhouse were devastated from Hurricane Harvey in 2017. Reconstruction didn't begin for several years and continues today. It's a great no-frills RV park with 60 long, spacious concrete pads and full hookups. If you want an affordable place next to the beach in South Jetty, watching seabirds and huge ships go by, then this is the place. It was no big deal to walk around the construction site to the beautiful sandy beach. In early spring, it was blissfully uncrowded during the week. Weekends got a little more crowded, but there was still plenty of space. There's a link to this campground in the description of this video. Port Aransas Jetty, or at least the start of it, where we're camped at I.B. McGee County Park is right over there where that building, the tall building that's under construction, that's the, actually the office that was severely damaged from Hurricane Harvey. But there's just quick little walk over here. A nice walk from our campsite, you'll find the Aransas South Jetty. It was impossible to not wonder how this came to be. Aransas Pass is the water passage between Mustang and St. Joseph Islands. It's protected by North and South jetties that have successfully separated the two islands since 1919. Prior to these jetties, it could be as shallow as six or seven feet. The shifting currents created moving sandbanks and pushed them about 200 feet south each year. This made mapping and navigation pretty much impossible and entry into the bays treacherous. Serious attempts to dredge the sand and build these jetties began in the mid-1800s. After many failed attempts, the federal government finally sent in the Army Corps of Engineers to finish it. So how did they do it? They literally built a track over the water called a trestle. Railroad cars filled with rock were rolled along the track until it got to the destination and then dumped into the water. We couldn't imagine how this was built over a hundred years ago. 
As we hiked out onto the 7,400 foot long jetty, it was obvious that many different materials at many different times have been dumped on top of each other to reinforce this south jetty. Hey guys, so we're out here on the jetty in Port Aransas and I found the motor and the rear part of the boat to the Orca. If you know what that's from, that's from the movie Jaws. Uh, Quint's boat, the Orca. Um, he died in the end because the shark ate him. And here's the motor from his boat right here. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe it's not Quint's boat. Maybe it's the engine from the SS Minnow. If anybody knows where that came from, put it in the comments down below. We just walked out to the end of the South Jetty. From what I can read, it's over 9,000 feet long. Um, my, when we walked out here the other day, my phone said we walked a mile and a half both ways altogether. A mile and a half. I don't know what's right. You think we walked? 9,000 feet each way. I have no idea. <laughs> it's a good exercise. Rough seas today, my friends. Yeah. Like an old man trying to return soup at a deli. See if you know where that came from. <laughs> headed over to the University of Texas Marine Science Institute which is literally right next to us and um, we've signed up to do a tour of their facility called ARC and that's the animal rehabilitation keep so we supposedly we're gonna see some sea turtles that are being rehabilitated and we saw when we walked by there the other day there's um, seabirds and, and other other birds like raptors and stuff that they're caring for so that's where we're headed yes. um, so the ark uh, it sits on University of Texas Marine Science Institute property this is a UT facility um, the ARC, though, is completely on its own and gets its money from donations and grants. So, so there's a couple of safety things, mainly for little kiddos. Everything here will fight you. My main goal is everybody leaves with all their fingers and all their toes. So, birds bite, turtles bite, owls bite. Uh, and I'm also a master naturalist, and one of my fellow master naturalists um, does one of this, this wetland tour over here. And we actually have one in space right now, the International Space Station, so we're very excited. Our volunteer guide, Michelle, a master naturalist, told us all about some of the animals being cared for there. We enjoyed her enthusiasm and knowledge while learning why they were being cared for and which ones were soon to be released. The release dates are posted on their Facebook page, and the public is usually invited. Um, Hurricane Harvey did pretty much wipe this facility out um, and we rebuilt everything. The, the turtles were placed in that, we're going to see that step down facility that I call it, where it's after the intensive care they, they step down. And that building was the only one that was fine. And uh, an individual that's head of rehab out here took all the birds home <laughs> to his parents' garage in Corpus. Uh, I think it was about 50 birds. They eat dead rats. I know. She is a crested caracara, also known as a Mexican eagle, and we believe she was probably hit by a car. These are a couple, and I don't know, I think Bobo's still asleep. 
Bobo and she's been happy ever since. I would say those are probably the main injuries that we see here. So if you ever see fishing line, pick up fishing line. They eat crustaceans, crabs are delicious, they love them. They think I have food because I should be feeding them right now. These are floaters. They're little, uh, they also call it bubble butt. <laughs> This part of the Gulf of Mexico unfortunately is often littered with trash. Sadly, these beaches can be really trashy. The two main sources of human-made debris found on Texas beaches are stuff transported to the beaches by waves, tides, and winds, which is called marine debris, and plain old litter and garbage left by beachgoers. There is a big campaign to get everyone to carry these free reusable trash bags when they walk the shoreline. We learn that many of the patients in care at ARC are there because of marine trash. Fish, seabirds, sea turtles, and marine mammals become entangled in or ingest plastic debris, which can cause suffocation, starvation, and drowning. A recent study found that all seven species of sea turtle, from the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and even the Mediterranean Sea, had traces of microplastics in their gut. Beach cleanup is often a community event. We witnessed this while in Magnolia Beach. One Saturday morning, the whole community came out to clean up not only the beach, but the surrounding area. We can easily do our part too by packing out what we pack in as well as picking up trash we see while we're enjoying the beach. Keeping as much out of the sea as we can while enjoying the gift of beautiful beaches. We hope you enjoyed Roaming with Rosie today. For more information on the places featured in this episode, check out the links in the video description, as well as products and equipment we use and recommend. We sometimes do receive a small commission when you use our links for purchases, which is a great way at no additional cost to you to help offset some of our production costs. Thank you so much for watching and sharing our videos and subscribing to Roaming with Rosie. We'd love to hear from you and encourage your comments and questions. Until next time, see ya.